What's going on? It's Coach Williams, and I am back for another breakdown. So today, we are going to talk Jalen Ramsey week one going up against the Bills. We're going to go back to the roots of this channel. This is a DB channel at heart. And now that the season has started, I'm going to be covering all 32 teams more. And I think that focusing on Ramsey in this game, he had a rough, rough game. So I want to break down some of the issues that he had, okay? So key third down here. The Bills come out in 22 personnel, two backs, two tight ends, and I believe that this is cover one. I think this is man-to-man -man coverage, okay? And so the Bills motion Davis down, right? So now he's got a nasty split, okay? And so what ends up happening is he comes down and crack blocks on this outside linebacker here, okay? So Ramsey is reading it, okay? But it's a play action pass. If this is a run, yeah, you want to get down here and do a crack replace. But Allen has the football, okay? And so if Allen boots and tries to run for the first down, it's this guy's job right here to contain the play. So you want to read the tempo of this receiver. Does he keep blocking him, keep blocking him? If that's a yes, then yeah, you want to get down here and help out. But you've got to have eyes on this receiver. And the second that he releases, you have got to flip and try to find him. So the receiver releases. And you have to also, he's staring right at the quarterback. You've got to look at the intentions of the quarterback. This is not how he's going to look if he's trying to run for the first down. He's going to have that football nice, high, and tight. And we know Josh Allen, he's going to be ready to lower the shoulder. So you've got to see that. You've got to read the intentions of the quarterback. See this flip back, but instead, he just decides to run down and chase. And Gabe Davis is wide open for a touchdown, okay? So, as we can see here, right, he's in position to contain, right? He's here. He's in that spot. We don't need two guys, right, down here on the quarterback. That's not good for us. A little interesting note here, kind of a little throwaway note. I thought it was interesting that they brought the center out to try to block the contain guy. I'm not a, a big O-line guy, so I don't know exactly how they would want to protect that, but I thought that was interesting. But he's got him out leveraged. He's in perfect position to be able to contain this quarterback. You've got to flip around and find that receiver, all right? So not good. Blown coverage right there. Got put in a bind. Really good play call, though. I'll, I'll give the Bills that. That was a perfect play design for that one, all right? Now, this one here, this is the big one, the one that was all over social media, the obvious blown coverage. Some people might not have caught that one, but this one was really obvious. So I think they're in quarters coverage here. I think this is a palms coverage. And the reason for that is you'll see this uh, retrace motion here and the corner at the bottom of the screen picks up this wheel route, right? So he's running with the wheel, all right? So we got Ramsey up here at the top of the screen. And if this is palms, he's going to be reading two. Both of these guys are going to be reading two. If two goes out, he's going to drive on two. And the safety is going to get over the top of number one. But what ends up happening here is we get a vertical release from number two. If he is vertical at this depth, Ramsey's got to get his eyes on Diggs. And you'll notice, look, his eyes are on Josh Allen the whole way. Look at how long. He never gets his eyes back on number one. Stefan Diggs here. He's still looking at Josh Allen. The ball is in the air. He's still looking at the ball. He never looks up Diggs. And for as great of a throw as this was by Josh Allen and how impressive he is and how strong his arm is, Allen actually underthrows this one, right? Now, this is a hell of a throw, right? It's like something like a 55-yard throw on the run. Like, that's incredible. But he underthrows it. And if Ramsey just turns, right, you cannot run as fast looking back. If he just turns and looks at the receiver, you tell me. I think that this is either a pass breakup or an interception. And the thing about Ramsey is... His technique and his eye discipline normally is phenomenal, but his eyes were all over the place in this game, right? Very concerning. And Diggs is letting him know about it, okay? So we'll get another view of the tight here. 
not going to stick on this for too long because you can't see much from this angle. But Allen breaks the pocket on the run, throws this dart down the field, this laser down the field. But look, he still is not looking back at the ball, right? The second we get him in the frame, and he's still not looking at the receiver. The second we get him in the frame, he's still looking back at the ball, still looking at Allen. Now he finally turns, and it's just too late, right? You got to look that receiver up, sprint full speed, get your head down and find that guy, all right? So this is the last play, and this one will be considered by most people as a throwaway play, but to me, this is the most concerning play that I saw from him because the other stuff is just mental stuff, and it's stuff that he's normally really good at. This one is concerning to me because, as you know, if you follow me and you've been following my channel and what I talk about with DBs, one of the most important traits for defensive backs is balance. Balance is a DB trait. And we saw in the Super Bowl, there are a few times when he was covering Jamar Chase where he lost his balance. Well, we're going to watch this play right here. He's in press coverage. He's squeezing digs to the sideline. And this is a perfect timing, rhythm throw here, this little back shoulder fade that uh, Allen throws to digs. And you'll notice that Ramsey just loses his balance. He falls over, right? There's not much happening here. And he totally just loses his balance as he's squeezing him to the sideline, right? And we'll get another view of it from the tight here, right? So, Allen drops back. He throws it. He's in good position. He's squeezing him, but he just totally loses his footing and can't make a play on the football. And so, yeah, he's a young guy, right? I think he's only like 27 years old, but one of the first things to go with great defensive backs is their balance, okay? And in that playoff run, and we saw it in the Super Bowl as well, there were times where he just could not keep his footing. And normally, Jalen Ramsey's balance is impeccable. So that is something that I am going to be monitoring from week to week to see, is he continuing to lose his balance? If he loses his balance like this on a consistent basis, I think that his production and his ability is going to drop dramatically. But y'all know me, y'all know I love Jalen Ramsey, so I'm looking at him to bounce back in the next game and i'm excited to see how that looks so as always you know what it is it's coach williams ball hawks we fly i'm out peace